Hey guys, Cabby Bigham here. We're at the 2019 SEMA show. To my left, I have David Aiken. David, how are you? Dude, let me tell you something. SEMA is off the chain this year, and I'm excited to have you sitting here interviewing me. You get that caliber of driver in this show, it's it's everywhere. There's there's stars everywhere, talent everywhere. This show is going to rock the house. For sure. So right behind me, I got this crazy looking beast. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about it? You know what? Every year for SEMA, you got to do something to outdo yourself because it's SEMA. You got to build something crazy. We did a two-seater front engine dragster for the street. It's got blinkers, tail lights. It's, you know, it's got tag lights. It, the car's really a fun car. It's just under 2,000 pounds, 2,500 horse, give or take, and uh, completely street legal. It's going to be fun. That's wild. So you've taken this on the road before? We have not. We just finished the car. I do them all the time. So I do one a year, one, one every year and a half. And uh, I just got it done to bring it here. I haven't had a chance to play with it, but I'm really excited to do so. Yeah, right on. Who are some of the partners that made this possible? Listen, you know, everybody from Mickey Thompson, PPP, we got Monster Transmission involved. We got a Nesbitt 540 with precision, twin precision mirror image turbos. I have the first set they developed, mirror image turbos. 2500 the car's gonna be insane we've got billet specialty wheels bead locks on it this thing's gonna be stupid will you take this to the drag strip and try and run a number oh my god absolutely you, you can't build a car like it's gonna be cool on the street but if you could drive it to the track cut a mid four second and drive it home <laughs> and leave your bottle of water in the cup holder that my ladies and gentlemen is a race car yeah that's the ultimate daily right there this thing's insane. How much horsepower again? 2,500? Yeah, 2,500, give or take. You know, you, and that all depends on how we tune the car, what we do with the car. Yeah. Just fundamentals of the car. It has everything a good drag car has, but on the, we run a profiler, which is basically traction control. It has a, a pitch control in the car, which is basically wheelie control, because we don't run wheelie bars on the car. It has two chutes, so when I do go to the track and go real fast, it, it has a DOT Mickey Thompson radio tire which is a, it's just a nasty dead hook tire, that car, the, the, the tires. And then it's got a trans brake. It is, it is bump in, you, know, you, you bring it up on boost, you bump the car in, you run a couple different tune-ups in the car, you run it on eight injectors on the street, hey, 1,000, 1,200 horse. Turn, <laughs> turn the boost controller on, you're 2,500, 3,000 horse with, you know, you got 16, you know, and then I run 550s. You know, so they're atomizer 550 injectors in it. This thing, and it runs on methanol. Everybody keeps asking me about fuel mileage. If you got the street tune up in it, let's say you're at 1200 horse, you're running on eight injectors, you might be 20, 22 miles to the gallon. I do, you know, when you got a race tune up in it, everything goes south. Got 16 injectors, dumping methanol in the car, and it's absolutely stupid. But, <laughs> you know, it's, uh, it, you don't build a car like this and ever worry about fuel mileage. Yeah, you don't sure. worry about being comfortable. You worry about getting there fast. Yeah, definitely. So where can people watch videos of this? You know, realistically, it's a season four car for uh, toy makers, obviously on the History Channel. Um, also, we have a digital series coming out soon that nobody even knows about yet. Going to be the Fast Society, where I'm going to live in a couple different worlds of racing. You know, and, and then obviously Twitter, YouTube, all the fundamentals. You know, Instagram, Facebook, uh, and, and then all the brands that we deal with. You know, so it, the, the car's really going to make a statement this year. So, David, thanks for the interview. I uh, can't wait to see season four, Toy Makers. <laughs>